Hi everybody. Did you know that it's possible to create Blackboard Collaborate Ultra sessions with large numbers of participants and simply import links or import files with large numbers of people in each group? So here's how it's done. I'm going to go to Create Session and we'll just go to Fake Session. We'll call it a Fake Session. And when I click on Invitations, there is this option that you might have noticed. It's a new option called Import Attendees. And when you import attendees, if you click on it, you'll notice that it needs to be a .csv file. And it needs to be in such a format where the header for the first column is display name and the header for the second column is email. So here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to click on an Excel file that I already have and we have our Excel spreadsheet of names. It's just an ordinary Excel spreadsheet and I have it as a list of names with email addresses and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these columns. If they're in different columns you might need to do this one by one but it needs to be where one column has the display name that everybody's going to have and the other column is going to have their email list. So in this case the columns are already right next to each other which is nice. So I'm going to click Control C to copy that and I have opened up a new um, Excel file and I'm going to paste that starting in row 2. Now, in row 1, I need to be very careful. Notice that in the Blackboard page, it simply said that it needed to be as a as display name, and I'm not even going to trust that it's okay to not capitalize this. I, I'm going to make sure that I do it exactly as they have it here. So I'm going to call this, this file, I'm just going to make it a little bigger so that I can see it better. So I have display lowercase and then capital N name and then email all lowercase and then this looks good this is exactly the format they want so I'm going to save this and when I save it I need this to be saved as a I, I need this to be saved as a as a dot CSV file so I want to do that like this and I'm going to save it as a .csv file. So I chose that choice and I'm just going to call it fake names .csv and that's save. And now that I've done that, it, it looks the same, but here's the thing. If I was to close this and now open it up again, so I have my fake names. When I open it up again, it's in exactly the format that they want in terms of the sizes of the columns and that sort of thing. It's a very early primitive type of format. So now I can go back to my scheduler and import new attendees and office hour lists and I have fake names and that's what I want. 18 valid rows. I click add to session and if I was to create then it would actually send emails and I'd get a bunch of responses that these email addresses don't exist. So I'm going to cancel in this case, but in your case you'll click create and that will be done. So that is how you can create meetings in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra with lots of participants without having to type in or copy paste names uh, person by person. So if you have any questions, please let me know.